So if you have a General Motors vehicle and you want to switch the coolant from the OEM Dex Cool, you need to find a coolant that is silicate free and I'd recommend getting the Peak Global coolant because it's silicate and phosphate free. And although the Global coolant is mixable with any type of coolant, you should do a full flush of the old coolant or Dex Cool or whatever you have. Just to make sure you're starting with a completely clean and fresh charge of coolant. The back of the bottle has uh, instructions for flush and fill, but since I'm switching from Dex Cool and my old coolant is pretty old and worn out, I have the full uh, flush and fill kit, also from Peak. I have the super cleaner and flush fluid, the anti-rust sealer and protector, and the flushing tea kit. One thing to note about these is that one bottle treats 12 quarts or 3 gallons. My system is a little over 4 gallons, so I'll need a little over one bottle. And I like to buy the concentrated antifreeze that you have to... Uh, mix with water yourself, but you can also buy the 50-50 pre-mixed stuff if you want to do that. Basically you're going to need some basins to catch the old coolant in, and some cutting tools to cut the heater hose, uh, HVAC uh, sheet metal snips actually work incredibly good for cutting heater hose. And you'll need a coolant tester. First thing you need to do is drain your cooling system. In this particular vehicle I had to remove the wheel well liner just to uh, drain the radiator via the lower hose. But on most vehicles there's a simple petcock that you open uh, and drain the radiator with. You usually don't have to remove any paneling. You might have a plastic panel or something, but it's nothing that's a big deal. So while your cooling system is draining or after it's drained, that's the best time to install the flushing tee from the flush and fill kit. So you locate your two heater hoses, they go from the firewall to top of the engine and the other one goes into the uh, water pump. It may be a little bit different on four cylinder cars but generally it's the same. So you find the heater inlet hose that goes into the top of the engine. You cut that and install the T.
Now you can actually flush the radiator. You're going to need a water source, like a hose. And you can either do this one of two ways. You can put this in here and attach your hose to the flushing T and back flush through the top of the radiator. But I'm just going to flush it through the open radiator hose down here. And this kit comes with an adapter that allows you to attach the hose to the flushing tee. Since I'm not back flushing through the radiator, after this is done flushing, I'm going to take this hose off and spray the water into the radiator and just let that flush through. I'm using one of these hoses with a valve on the end, but you can also use your regular old uh, hose handle with the threaded end. And you put it on to that adapter down there. So now I'm ready to flush. So flushing all the old coolant out of there. So this is all the stuff that was left in the engine after I drained the radiator. So you keep draining this until that fluid is clear. So that means you just have water left. You can see the colors changing, it's getting pretty clear. Yep, that's water. Turn that off. Next step is to plug the radiator back up and fill it with just water. Then you want to run your engine for 10 minutes, let it cool, and then drain it again. When you're running your engine, make sure you disconnect the hose from the T and put that cap on there. And when your engine's running, turn your heater on high. So, and maximum heat so that the liquid runs through the heater core. So now after that water's drained, you add the Peak Super Cleaner and Flush. So the way to add this is to basically dump the bottles into the radiator with the engine running. Then once you have the bottles dumped in there, just have your hose hooked up to the T and turn the hose on and fill it up the rest of the way with water until the water comes up to where the cap is. Stick the cap on. To get a thorough clean, you should run this through your system for three to six hours. It doesn't have to be all at once, you can do that over several days. 
then once that time period's up, then you drain it back out and then you can fill it, fill your system back up with your antifreeze. And obviously you don't want to do this during winter or any time where you could get frozen water in your in your cooling system. Do this over the summer. And if you're just doing a flush, uh, run the engine again for 10 minutes with the heater on high and then drain it out again and then add your antifreeze. So now that the cleaner is drained and I put my lower radiator hose back on, now all that's left to do is dump in the Peak Global antifreeze. Then after you've filled your radiator back up, use your coolant tester to test the coolant and make sure you got a good enough mixture. A little light, but that, that'll work. Then you can add your rust protector and sealer. I figure I'll add this and it'll help prevent any future leaks that might come up.